Hi there guys, welcome back to Utopia Cubed Resurrection. How is everyone doing today? Uh, not a lot done since the last episode, I have to say. Uh, nobody else is on the server. Uh, we're still on 1.0.1, .1. still no 1.0.2. But uh, yeah, so after recording the last episode, I spent a good while uh, developing a system to do something and I just had a hell of a lot of fun in a creative world developing this. So today we're gonna make an auto brewer. So I know what you're gonna say, look there is already auto brewers and there is. There is, um, we have a, a Greg Tech brewing stuff which um, will work very, it does work but uh, check out the recipe on that thing, that's just not gonna happen. Maybe at some point we'll change to that, it might be a better way of doing it. Uh, MF4 of course has a auto brewer, but it only brews one potion per ingredient, which is crap. And it uses power. So, screw that! So, that's really all the brewers there is, I believe. Um, I might be wrong on that, but uh, I think there, that's it. So, I have come up with quite an awesome system, I think. It only brews three at a time to maximize the ingredients and it brews potions so fast that, um, well, I mean, not so fast, but it brews potions quick enough to keep up with five, five um, potion generators at a time, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is something from Blue Power. Now, if you don't know what Blue Power is, it's a remake of the mod Red Power, uh, made by Quetzi and a couple of others, I think. And what we need is this sorting machine. Now, the sorting machine is pretty simple enough to make. The blue alloy wire we need, uh, which we don't have yet, and we also need some red doped wafers which we need to get a silicone bool, uh, which is sand and coal in an alloy furnace. So the first thing we're actually gonna need is the alloy furnace, which is this thing here, which is just eight bricks. So I've smelted down some bricks here. Uh, so let's just grab that and that, boom. So here's the alloy furnace, we'll put it down there. Uh, it's gonna need some coal or charcoal or something like that to burn. So that's cool, we will do that. And I have some coal here, which is what we need to do with the, um, to get the silicone. Uh, let's just put that in there and that should start going. Awesome. So that should give us two bowls of silicone. Boom, okay, let's just check this out, right? So this thing has recipe, sorry, no usage. Uh, make silicone wafers, that's pretty much, but we have to cut it with a micro block saw, which I should have here, I have two in fact. So we can cut this down and get our, oh, it's a shaped recipe, useful. Oh, I need a diamond one. Oh, no. Uh, okay, let me just make that quickly. I thought I could use this one. Okay, we have our wafers. Uh, so if we combine four red stone, we'll get the red doped one. And if we uh, combine four of this tesselate, which I think I have some over here. I do. Let's grab some of that because I think I need some. Um, and let's grab some red stone, actually. So I think I need 12 redstone wafers. Okay, and sorting machine, we need to make a filter f first. Uh, gold, a piston, I think I have a piston on me. Uh, gold, 
And then just a bit of cobble. Simple. And we'll grab one of these and let's make the filter. Nope. Oh, whoops. Sewing machine, filter, go. Nice. And then we'll grab the other one of these. The other, there we go. Weird. Uh, we also need to make some blue alloy wire, wasn't it? And we need silver for that. I have one piece of silver, thankfully. So there's the blue alloy wire. Sorry, machine, we just need some iron then, and we'll be good to go. There we go. Sorting out your life. Yes, indeed. Okay, guys, uh, let me just throw off the rest of this stuff. I think I was using this for blue power stuff. So, this is the first part of the machine. This is what's going to stop. Um, this is going to stop the first brewer because there's going to be multiple brewing stands. Uh, this is going to stop the first brewing stand from actually brewing anything unless it has three uh, jars. Jars? Three bottles. That's what we're looking for. Uh, so, let's just waste actually a few of these potions and we'll get something going here um let me go set up the basics of this and i'll come back in one second all right guys let's get set up here so uh so i did initially set this up slightly different uh than this okay so we need an input uh the way to see this is that this kind of thing points forward so that's that's kind of cool uh we need an output and we need this whole thing to be up one level, so I don't know what I just did there. So let's just take all this off. Uh, I probably should have made a screwdriver as well, actually. But, uh, mm, might not be necessary. Right, sorry, let's try that again. So this here, this here. So this is our input. So let's put all these water bottles that I just got here. And we also want to get the nether wart. So this, the nether wart and the bottles are going to be in the same input. Uh, so I'm going to change this to a ender chest at some point, uh, but yeah, let's just get this going first. So then we need the first brewing stand, because there is going to be more than one. Uh, so we're going to put that there. And then I have a couple of uh, these, these item translocator thingies. Um, so let's just grab... Nether wart and a water bottle so we can put it into the filter. Let's put it here and uh, here. Uh, so nether wart in the top, like so. And we'll probably want to put it here and we'll put the water bottles there. And then we're going to need an output from this. Which, I'm trying to remember, this is that, 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 I can't remember exactly how I did this in the, the my creative world, but I'm just going to set it here, and we'll probably end up moving the, around the place afterwards anyway. So, uh, I just need to dig in here for a second. Uh, this bottle already, yeah. There we go. Uh, okay, so this thing is now ready to go. So, we need this to have three bottles. And a nether wart. Uh, and if we set this up to do a single step, pull mode, any stacked sequential. This will only go to the next step if it's able to pull one from this chest. So, uh, it's only going to do water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, nether wart. Uh, it's going to do more than that if there's more than here, but it will only ever have a 3 to 1 of nether wart 
So we'll only get three potions brewing at all uh, once. It won't do two and it won't do one. So that's cool. So we're actually going to change this to automatic. And you can see it's already started going there, pulling the stuff in. And it's already gone in here. The nether wart will keep going in there. But it's fine because there's going to be an eek and enough for three there. So obviously the next thing we want to do is pull out the done um, potion and stick it into the next potion uh, in the sequence. So let me just craft up a couple of these things and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, uh, I have this set up. There's a load of translocators all over the place. But basically, uh, I have this chest which I'm also going to be replacing with an ender chest. Um, but uh, we could be using something else here, I suppose. These are probably... Well, they're cheap enough, actually. These things are actually fairly cheap. Um, well, cheap enough. But uh, I probably might replace those with extra utility ones, actually. But anyway, so if we do this, the redstone is going to be constantly pushed in here. Uh, the fermented spider eyes in here. And the gunpowder in here. So you can see what's going to happen here. We're going to pull these these um, potions out of here. Like so. Uh, pull them out there. So these awkward potions are going to get sugar. They'll be speed potions. Uh, once we get the speed potion, we'll show them in here and they'll become speed plus potions. Uh, then in here and they'll become slow potions. And then here and they'll be throw potions of splash. And then they go back into this chest. And this chest is going to be our... It's basically going to have our completed potions and our water bottles. So the water bottles are going to get moved in here and go through the system. Uh, and then we can be able to pull out from anywhere else for the other type of potions, which should be good. Uh, so I do have a couple of nether chests here. Nether chests? Uh, it doesn't say what colors they are. I want the one that's yellow. Let's put one down. Nope, that's the wrong one. So we're going to use this for the... Uh, this one is going to be for the potions, so let's just knock this off for a second. And we'll put this here. And put this back because I think it fell off. There we go. Awesome. So this is going to have our nether wart in it. And it's also going to have our potions. So these splash potions of slowness plus. Actually, we can put that in here. And boom. Oh, weird. Did something? No, OK. Awesome. So there is that. Uh, let me just wait for everything to go up and we'll come back and show you the full thing. All right. So it's all set up now. Uh, so we should see this moving in a minute. Of course, it's going to cascade. So this one first. Let's see if we can get there. Yeah. Okay. We can see a good bit of there. So once this is done, there it goes. They'll all come out and you saw how quick that was. So everything's brewing again. Nice. And it's just filling up here with the potions. Perfect. Nice. Uh, so I have this one set up. This is going to have my ingredients. I'm going to set it up now to pull in from the farms and stuff like that. And uh, we can just use these as a uh, power source. So let's head over to one of the farms where I have the potion generator set up and we start using the power and you can see how cool this system is uh, it's so simple as well which is so cool uh, so let's head over here Whoa. here we go so we have this here and it's got no power in it so let's put down this one 
No, wrong one. Oh. So, this one it should be then. Is that the right one? It's the one with the yellow. Yeah. There we go. So, we can g grab these and put them there and grab this and put it here. Again, could be using extra utility ones here, but whatever. There we go. So that's going to throw the potions in there. And then we can grab the water bottle back and send it back in here. Uh, we might actually have too much potions in the system though. There we go. So, let's head on back over and we can see this thing working in action. Working in action. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, this is obviously not efficient right now because this thing is using way less power than this thing's producing. Uh, but I have a method of setup that we can get going with this so that it actually will stop pulling the potions when it's good power and stuff like that, but we need some energy cells for that, which we don't really have at the moment. But this thing is still going. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, this is only got two water bottles. It's not going yet. Uh, but we should, in a minute, get a water bottle in here. Um, and I'm thinking one more splash potion in here should be about exactly right. Thinking, yeah. So the water bottle should come back in here in a minute. There it is. Uh, and it's gone straight into this thing. It's starting to brew it already. Uh, and once it brewed, it's going to go around this circle and refill this. So there's two missing. So we want three. Yeah, three spaces. Just make sure there's three spaces always. So it's moved on. And it's just going to keep doing that. Awesome. Uh, so I'm just going to set up a couple of the infeed systems now. And we'll be back in a sec. So guys, I'm just going to do one of these here. And then I'm going to set the rest of them up on camera. So I've got some a diamond nugget and some glowstone. Uh, so we're going to put the diamond on here and the glowstone on here. Uh, I'm thinking the glowstone was actually meant to go on that. But anyway, uh, so if we set this to 64, this should try and keep 64 on here at all times and yet the glowstone actually should have gone on this one let's just grab some more glowstone there we go so cool this is will keep the nether wart full which means we'll always have awkward potions not at all awkward it's the other stuff now so we need to craft both the sugar and the mushrooms so that's gonna be an issue um, and obviously we've no redstone supply as of yet, uh, but we need to grow the poison eye, a sugar, and that. So this is there. Um, okay, so I'll have to set those up camera. I'll show you afterwards how I did it, and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so here we go. We have it set up here. Um, the nether ward I had to move up there just uh, so these uh, cyclic assemblers could come in here. So this one is converting sugar cane into sugar. And it's putting some of that into this ender chest here. I have these, uh, as I said, limiting to 64 and these as well. Uh, so this is also going to output sugar into the top row of this one. Uh, and then I got mushrooms and spider eyes as well. Uh, but there is none at the moment. But mushrooms and spider eyes are coming in here, and then it turns them into fermented spider eyes, and we'll keep 64 of them in here, uh, which is cool. And I've got the spider eyes actually going into this chest as well, so they'll come out back into here. So that's that. Um, I just want to get a power line and pull it down under here so I can actually power this thing. Um, but I don't have any power at the moment, so we'll have to leave that for now. Uh, let me just fill in this. Uh, so then the other two things that I need are the redstone and the gunpowder. So the gunpowder I can get over in the other farm. 
But I'm thinking I probably, if it's not going to be a witch farm, I may as well set up another farm over here uh, somewhere so everything can be loaded together. Uh, these guys are going along, no problem. And they are also pumping out mob essence, which is nice. Um, I could probably even set it up in here, actually. And just have a ton of big high one and stuff falling down. Uh, as I said, this thing is using far too much power. I'll have to set this thing up to only export when this is out of power. Uh, while I don't think I can do it with the extra utility generators themselves, I know I can do it with the thermal expansion stuff and a comparator. So, and I think these things can take a redstone pulse thingy as well, which is cool. Uh, to turn them on and off, but when I was testing that I couldn't get it to work So if you guys know how that works, let me know please in the comments. That would be cool uh, So yeah, so that is pretty much automated potions uh, Set up and running for me Pretty cool. Uh, this is gonna go no problem at all. It's not you this bit is not using any power. There's a small bit of power being used over there to get the sugar and the fermented spider eyes. Um, I had initially set those up in my test world using extra utility crafters, but I don't have a lot of lapis. But yeah, so there is my little auto brewing station. Uh, I think it's really cool. Um, but then again, I made it. I spent ages designing this. So I'm really, really happy with it as it turned out. And it's pretty small as well, if you have a look at it. Um, it's actually pretty small. Surprisingly small. I thought I'm missing something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you later.